What can I say everyone? Yesterday was a complete disappointment. I just bought a mic, but I don't know how to work with it. So, the next few videos is gonna be with old mic, old quality. But, last night was NXT, and I was really surprised by NXT, and I was really enjoying it, and it was great this time. So the topics that I'm gonna cover this time are the Creed Brothers versus The Schism, the Trick Williams journey, Baron Corbin versus Von Wagner versus Braun Breaker question mark, the North American Championship situation, and the NXT Championship situation. First, I want to talk about the Creed Brothers or Diamond Mine versus the Schism or Dyad, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I'm talking about these three videos in a row. Creed Brothers are still in NXT, Schism are still feuding with them, so I don't understand why the, the family was feuding with the Schism. I guess because of the last week's segment, they were feuding, they were having a match, and the Creed Brothers showed up to help the family to win the match and also Ivy Nile to help them so yeah obviously the Creed Brothers and the Schism Saga is still not over I'm really excited to see what the future holds uh, I guess that they're gonna feud again and the Creed Brothers are gonna be on top but at what point the Creed Brothers will go to the main roster I'm not a fan of the Creeds but I thought that this was a call to the main roster and they also showed up on one episode of Raw or Smackdown I don't remember what exactly the episode was but I thought that this is it man, they're on the main roster now or they're waiting for a storyline, I don't know but they're still not <laughs> in the main roster line Next up I want to talk about the journey of Trick Williams from purse holder to his own man <laughs> from purse <laughs> uh, He was having a match against Drew Gulag and the match happened because last week Drew, Charlie Dempsey and Damon Kemp I, I think that is his name uh, made fun of him and called him a purse boy as I said and now we have a match I was pleasantly surprised because Trick Williams looked strong and I haven't seen him look that strong when he was under Carmelo but maybe they're really pushing him now if you see Trick Williams and if you look at him he's really for the main roster he's more for the main roster than any other superstar to be fair with you like I like Carmelo I'm not gonna lie to you I like Carmelo I kinda like the new Braun but they're not there yet like for some reason I see a lot of it in Trick Williams I don't know why probably because he's good at the mic this is not all of course but last night he was good in the ring as well so I'm really excited for next week Heat Wave to see what he's gonna bring to the table to Ilya Dragunov and if Carmelo Hayes is gonna show up to save his ass if Ilya Dragunov beats him up super badly. After that I want to cover something actually interesting. Baron Corbin was cutting a promo in the ring and he was saying that everyone in the back are big ass pussos. Von Wagner came out and I was thinking was Von Wagner feuding with Braun? What is he doing there? And all of a sudden we're gonna have a match between Von Wagner and Baron Corbin at Heat Wave, and whenever I was like, okay, sure, Braun Breaker showed up at the parking lot and he was talking with Baron Corbin, and he said that he's not finished with Von Wagner, and he threatened Corbin that he's gonna watch. Anyway, I kind of hope for a triple threat match there, and at the same time, when the Baron Corbin segment was happening and he was having basically a promo battle with Von Wagner, you can see that this is the Von Wagner moment. It's his opportunity to shine and Baron Corbin just made a brilliant promo, nothing to complain and Von Wagner was okay but whenever he started speaking I was afraid. I was getting very anxious that he's gonna fuck up something and he's gonna screw up and he's gonna flip everything but he did okay he 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 could have been worse he could have been a lot better of course 
but it was not bad to be fair. The state of the North American Championship, I was thinking about skipping that one, uh, but I really wanted to talk about the promo of Mustafa Ali. All of a sudden he became a politician kind of situation. For the past few months he have changed like two gimmicks, Mustafa Ali, and I see that he's desperately trying to find something to work with. But I think the last gimmick that was like Ali in NXT gimmick was just working, man. It didn't have to be politician, it didn't have to have a different logo or anything else. And also another weird thing about the North American Championship is have you noticed that the people who are fighting for the North American Championship are actually people from the main roster? Or I'm mistaken. Last but not least, the state of the NXT Championship. Throughout the whole show and actually for the past two weeks, Carmelo is always in the back doing some stuff that is really important for the champion or he's signing stuff and stuff like this. And while he was doing all of this, Wes was looking at the title, Dijak was looking at the title, and tonight Dijak and Wes squared off, Wes won, and after that Wes just flipped out, he took a table, he took it to the ring, he called out Carmelo, Carmelo came out and they were having a brutal promo. Like, I cannot tell you guys, I cannot tell you guys about more perfect finish to the show. Like, I was not hyped about Heatwave at all, but because of this promo, I just got hyped to 1000. Like, all the things they have said to each other, all the things Wesley said to about himself, all the things Carmelo said, and the fact that Carmelo started playing with the word can't, and the fact that in the end, just Wes broke the table when he just jumped on it. It was just picture perfect brilliant and I cannot wait for Heatwave. I cannot wait to see if they're gonna have a little bit of a conversation even when fighting. I want to see the whole thing. I want to see the whole saga and I am pretty sure that Wesley is not gonna win that one but please make that a trilogy. Give Wesley a chance and let Wesley win in the end, continue carrying the NXT legacy and Carmelo will move on to the main roster with Bobby and the Street Profits and Trick Williams hopefully when he beats Ilya Dragunov on the heatwave and everything is gonna come at its place. But until then, this is everything for me. A little bit shorter today, a little bit sweeter today, but to be fair, a lot of stuff is happening on NXT. For example, Davenport versus Dana Brooke, uh, which is a story that I don't want to cover really. Also the Heritage Cup promo between uh, Nathan Fraser and Noam Dar is nothing really something that I want to talk about because I really hope the match at Heatwave to pass and the Heritage Cup to be a normal championship because right now it's just a joke. And also JC Jane versus Tia Hale happened which I'm really interested to see what is gonna happen between Tia Hale, uh, Chase University and all of that but I just covered the main things that are important right now heading into Heatwave. Everything else I'm gonna talk about after Heatwave and I'm, as I said I'm excited to see Heatwave, who will win, who will lose and how everything will play out for NXT No Mercy at the end of September. I'm excited for that one, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna see you soon. Peace!